Good evening everyone. First of all, thank you very much for joining me at this time in this tutorial. So before I begin uh, with my part, I would like to tell you about the rupees 500 coding classes. So as you guys know very well, I've, so for that also I'm taking a course which is of six months. So if you, if you want to avail uh, the mobile application and game development classes, then you can simply contact me on this number below right for getting yourself registered for those classes so now let's uh, not waste the time and straight away dive into the platform so we are here to learn the uh, learn about the library named pptx with the help of which we can create you know powerpoint ms powerpoint now what you have to do exactly let me just uh, guide you right from the beginning so that's the uh, command prompt which you have to open and simply you have to fire this command over here uh, pip install and then uh, python python dash pptx so that's the command which you will fire uh, which you have to fire in this terminal and if this module is not there in your device so your terminal is going to download all the functions and everything uh, which comes in this uh, python pptx on your device and it will uh, of thereafter install them also on your device because I already have this uh, module installed on my device that is the reason I'm getting this message over here so I'm going to now import from this uh, pptx module uh, would like to import this thing called a presentation fine and if suppose I want to create a PowerPoint presentation document how can I do that it is pptx not triple ptx so I can simply create an object first of this presentation function right and after that this object can be used for you know creating the required file so that's the function named save which we used for creating excel file also we are going to use this here too for creating a, an excel file named gaurav.pptx so that's the powerpoint files extension i hope you know about it so you know that's the folder in which i have uh, my coding file powerpoint.py and this is the one right let me just save the changes and now uh, you can see there is no other file present in this folder the moment i will run this code so what is going to happen let's just check it out so you can see here this finished is getting reflected so i've successfully this uh, platform has successfully uh, you know executed my code whatever i have defined over here and you can see this file named gaurav right it has been created by this code over here in the same folder in which this code is present let me just open this powerpoint file and show you exactly what we have inside it so you know initially you will not see any slide it is completely blank there is no slide in this powerpoint add underscore slide is the function that you can use for adding slides to this register now we i am copying it from here fine so that's where i defined my layout and that's where i am now adding my slide to this slide one fine i hope you have understood this code let me save the changes and here is this folder running the code let's see what is going to happen so my code got executed successfully and you can see this powerpoint file over here if i will open it so this is what i am going to see now see so we have a file a slide like this so why it is looking like this because we defined zero over here if we'll change it to one let's see what is going to happen so i'm deleting this gaurav named file and let us save the changes and run the code again so done and again i can see a gaurav named file over here let's see what is this uh, layout of the slide we have inside it so that's the layout we have uh, right now on this slide which we have in this powerpoint file this code has created for us so you know that is how you can play with the layout of the slide i hope this code is uh, 
clear to all of you and you guys really enjoyed it if you have any queries related to whatever have been discussed in this lecture you can put it in the comment section and if you're not there uh, you may you must be, uh, be watching the lecture later on maybe when you get the time to do so so you can just put your queries in the comment section i will i'm definitely going to sort out all your queries and in case you want to avail the coding classes feel free to contact me on the number below uh, right thank you very much all of you for being there with